Hello everyone, it's Dawn here and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be using our watercolour pencils to paint sand on our little very basic seashore here. And we need three tones of sand colour. We need a light, a medium and a dark. And we're going to start, it doesn't really matter what one you start with, you can start with any tone you like, but I've arranged them in light, medium and dark just to make things a bit simpler. So I don't forget which one I've put on. So you can use, if you were with me for the edding board, if you have problems with this, you can use your edding board. I didn't bring mine out today, but you can if you want to. Or if you haven't got an edding board, just use a piece of scrap watercolour paper. That's absolutely fine. And I'm using 140 pound or 300 GSM not surface watercolour paper, which I will link in the description down below later on. And we just carry on shading quite simply to begin with. Well, it's all simple, really. It's how we blend it which creates the texture, which you will see in just a minute. And here comes our dark. Just fairly loose shading, but keep it thick. Don't have it too thinly spread. You need it quite dense for this, so that we get a nice thick body of sand. So just cover most of the white. It doesn't matter if you've got tiny specks showing, that's fine. And now what we're going to do, we're going to use our round brush, and you do need a brown, round brush for this. You can use a stippling brush, but you do have to make sure that you dab off the water on a piece of kitchen towel or toilet tissue. But to be on the safe side, if you're not used to doing stippling with pencils, that does take a bit of practice. I would recommend using a round brush and go on the tip of the brush like that. Hold it so that it's upright like that. I'll hold it slightly at the side so that you can see. And you stipple like that. Just stipple onto your card or onto your watercolour paper. Not too much water, just have a slightly damp brush. Don't have it sopping wet. But as you can see, by stippling all these three tones of colour together, we're creating a texture. And when we're painting sand, that's what we want. We want texture. So we just keep on doing that until we're done, until we get to the other side, so to speak. And you will get a bit into the water, like that tiny little spot. So I don't know if you can quite see that from here, but it has gone a little bit green, but that's all right. Don't worry about that. If it does that, just use the same color that you used for your water and go over it and just blend it in and that will actually give you a dark edge which is rather nice actually having a dark edge is rather nice so just do that to finish it off and even if the water goes a little bit green that doesn't matter too much so just finish it off like that and we have a nice textured sand on our beach so i hope you've enjoyed that and that you find it useful and when you come back next time we'll be doing another harbours and boat scene. So please do join me for that. And in the meantime, do stay safe, have fun with your paintings and enjoy the rest of your day. And until we meet again, bye bye for now.